Hi everyone, today I'm going to share a new recipe. It is a hybrid of two traditional desserts, agar agar and cheng teng. It is a very refreshing and nutritious dessert which does not need any additional sugar. Sweetness is derived from red dates, dried brown guns, and candied winter melon. Here are the ingredients. Remember to rinse all ingredients before use. It is especially good for cooling internal body heat. On the same side, pregnant ladies, ladies on confinement, or elderly folks should avoid eating this as pang da hai can be too cooling. First, soak pang da hai seeds with amber water for at least 20 minutes. This is how seeds would open up and expand into jelly like substance. Use your fingers to separate the jelly lumps, remove the pieces of broken skin and seeds. Drain the water away by using a strainer and set aside. Tie up the pandan leaves in a knot or knots. Cut the candied winter melon strips and dry the guys into small pieces. Your gun will expand during cooking to cut smaller if you like your agar agar with less chunky bits. Remove bits of red dates if you are using unbeaded ones. Cut into small pieces as well. Boil water and add in pandan leaves, red dates, winter melon, and yonggan pieces. Let it boil for 5 minutes. Turn down heat and simmer till about 1 liter of water is left. Add in pang da hai and stir. Remove the pandan leaves. Place the agaga strips into the pot and turn up the heat to boil. It should only take about 3 minutes or so for all the agaga strips to be melted. Transfer to a mold or dish to cool down. Once the mixture is cooked, firm and translucent agar agar is formed. Place the agar agar in the fridge for a cool and refreshing dessert. Cut and serve. Enjoy this guilt free dessert. Thank you for watching. To receive notifications for more creative and simple home cooked food, please subscribe to my channel.